The final piece of the pie we've been looking for, a public university that creates a centralized location, and my gosh, Rob, hey, we want to do a press conference and sign the bill into, into motion at the university. I'm like, uh, but, uh, but, uh, yeah. You know, I Google, I, when I was getting the information on you, I Googled you, and uh, the, a lot of pictures of you with notables. <laughs> well, it's, it's uh, you know, it's, it, it's, it's a great thing to work with the politicians and really be, have an opportunity to really present to them the different, you know, the bureaucracy of, of trying to get the services and programs as a veteran, and it is really difficult, male or female. It's just sir, you get back from service, you're trying to figure out where to go to school, you're trying to go to the VA to get you know services and programs in your health care, you're trying to figure out where to live, you're trying to find a job. If you're going through a divorce, you need legal, and that's where we essentially came up with this one-stop shop concept. From the bill, we actually partnered with the VA and created the Welcome Home Celebrations and the Warrior Summit, utilizing a one-stop shop central location for the community. So what we did was we combined ten different fairs, a job fair, education fair, housing, legal, disabilities, family, children's services, mental health, faith-based communities, and then the VA with all the VA programs and services. And then we utilized it, making it family-friendly. We talked to a bunch of different sponsors to uh, feed everybody for free, so on August 9th, 2012 at the next U Thursday. Next Thursday at the UIC Forum, <clears throat> we are going to have uh, over. We're going to be feeding over 5,000 individuals, military families, and uh, veterans. We're also donating over 5,000 sporting event tickets, and that's essentially the draw to get the military veterans and families to the event. Sure. And then once they get there, they realize there's over 175 agencies there mm -hmm. providing all the services in one location. Plus, it's family friendly. So we've got the Jesse White Tumblers. We've got like Miss Illinois, Chicago, Windy City, a couple of different pageants. We've got Jumbo Moon Bouncers. We've got uh, a reptile show. It's really awesome. It's, it's, it's really unique. So one of the ways that we connected to you was through our, our friends at uh, the uh, Safe Haven. Yep. Yes. Uh huh. So, because they serve a lot of vets. They do a lot oh of gosh. homeless folks. They do an absolute amount, uh, a, a, an absolute, enormous amount for veterans. And they, I, I believe they have over, um, I think it's over 1,400 beds just in the city of Chicago. Right. So they're they're a huge player uh, in the veteran community. They do so many things. They just built a new veteran suites, um, and they're they're phenomenal. And they, I think they just had a a run. To, yes, uh, to help uh, run uh, on the west side. Yeah, yeah, it was, it was I, a great event. Speaking of homelessness, <laughs> I saw a picture on Facebook early, early this morning. It said there are more vacant houses than there are homeless people in this country. Oh my gosh! And you know the statistics is one out of every three homeless people are um, are, veterans. Are, are veterans, which right. is it's a staggering number. Well, to me, it's those two facts that that you just stated means that your next job, Rob. <laughs> is to create. Katie will give you a good direction. No, no, the veterans' um, uh, construction, rehab, and housing group they're, they're, that connects these empty v, uh, uh, homes I with agree. people who need them. I totally agree. You know, there should even be like a program where we hire homeless veterans to build homeless veteran housing, and yeah. then maybe even put them in, put them in there. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. A lot. Like a so the VA that. works with you on this. They have their uh, fifth annual Welcome Home celebration, which is in conjunction with that is part of the Illinois Warrior Summit. That's the event, right? right. Yes, sir. And what they do is they actually provide... I love being called sir, and I'm old enough to take it, too. I know, I shouldn't actually. Well, because coming out of the military, it's just... No, I know. On the phone last night, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Don't, don't call me... Well, and I was like the opposite. I was like a sergeant, you know? So it's like, don't call me sir. I work for a living, but that's... I don't know. They we're all green, so it's all... So we're working together. We're for green. No, but... Um, uh, yeah. The VA. The VA. Okay, so the VA, we partnered with the federal, uh, the, the Jesse Brown VA Medical Center, Heinz VA Hospital, and James Lovell Federal Health Care Center, North Chicago VA and Great Lakes. And what they're doing is they're combining forces. Each, service, uh, each facility services about 60,000 veterans on average every year. <clears throat> so what they've done is they've combined their resources, and they're coming to the University of Illinois at Chicago providing on-site physicals, eye exams, uh, blood work, I mean hospital services and programs, there's over 35 services that will be provided on site. It's really unique. It's terrific. It's amazing. It really uh, is awesome. Do these other, wel do welcome home celebrations like this occur in other states? They do, but I don't know. Not I've, as organized I've as done, yours? I wouldn't say not as organized, but you know, I don't think it's really with trying to unite the community. It's very tough to, to get everybody to work together mm -hmm. and then to play <laughs> ball together is another thing, you know. So uh, that's true. So it definitely <laughs> is. But if, uh, if anybody's interested in the Warrior Summit, they can go to IllinoisWarriorSummit.com. Um, there's uh, everything is completely free. 
Uh, registration is closed for vendors, but it's completely free and open to the public for 5,000 military veterans and families. Once again, IllinoisWarriorSummit.com. You're listening to the Live from the Heartland show, brought to you every Saturday morning on WLUW 887, Chicago Sound Alliance. Uh, we're talking with Rob Malnick of the Illinois Warrior Summit. Uh, Rob, let me ask you in our closing moments here, uh, Obama, uh, both the President and Michelle Obama seem to have uh, done a lot of reaching out to the military and I know that uh, he's made some moves around the VA to improve its services. What's your take as a veteran who's been involved organizing other veterans since 2008 on the role of the VA? Has it gotten better? Has it improved? Uh, give it to us straight. Uh, the VA is, is doing phenomenal things, let me tell you. It's just that the, the problem is they're dealing with past, current, and you know, they're inundated. There's yeah. so many different wars that they're focusing on and it's like it's very difficult to focus on the new younger generation as when we're still taking care of the older. But it, that's where you got to unite the community to work with the federal agencies, you know, to provide the services. But they're doing a great job. They're outreaching to different communities. They're providing mental health. They even have vet centers, you know. These are different satellites with uh, mental health focuses for PTSD and stuff. But, you know, it's 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 not who's doing a good job or who's doing a bad job. It's, hey, let's work together and make it a great job. You know, let's, let's all work together as one. That's the get attitude to have. Well, it's an honor and a We're pleasure to, have, a place. to meet you, and I hope we get to uh, see each other more, talk more, and have you back on Live from the Heartland. Yeah, congratulations on your good one work. One more time, what's the date and how people can find out more information about you and about the Illinois Warrior Summit? Yes, sir. August 9th, 2012, the Illinois Warrior Summit.com. You can go to free for 5,000 individuals, free food, free sports tickets. It's just a great time. Illinois Warrior Summit.com. Thanks All a lot, right, Rob. Rob Malnick. We're going to talk to you again on this show, and, and that time you, it'll be up there where you can have some pancakes and stuff. <laughs> okay. okay, we're going to take a very short musical.